So you are um, using a lot of strategy to plan your future over here. So you are making plans for the future. You are dealing with a lot of grief and regret as well. So there may have been a situation that you uh, uh, felt like you were, uh, you know, had a, a very difficult time and a relationship that broke down uh, that caused a lot of grief and a lot of regret. And that's made you a bit cautious. So you are a bit af afraid to make any big moves, afraid to act right now. So it looks like in the past there was some kind of betrayal that happened and that's, uh, you know, led to you feeling a lack of trust for any kind of relationship. So the person that you were dealing with, uh, you know, um, uh, was not very, very honest about how they were uh, conducting that particular relationship. Uh, going to the future, there's a lust for forbidden fruits. So there might be somebody that you uh, have your eye on, but they might be involved in a relationship. Uh, and you've got celebrations and special occasions. So there might be some kind of event that you will be attending uh, where you meet this person whom you have, you know, are attracted to. So that coming up for you in those two weeks. So this is the um, Tarot of the Elves, and I'm just going to do some, uh, do the main reading with it. Okay, so you're in a situation, uh, you know, where there is a lot of arguments and bickering and fighting, uh, you know, you're having to defend yourself. Maybe somebody's having a go at you uh, because they don't agree with this relationship that you are involved in because they're fighting over the cup. So it's about a relationship and uh, there seems to be a lot of discord, a lot of upset that is going on and it's something to do with this relationship. There's a lot of information coming in, a lot of truths being revealed about that relationship as well. You've got this lightning strike coming in over here. So some kind of uh, news coming in or some kind of information being revealed uh, that causes quite a, uh, a stir up over there. So it seems that you and somebody else are, you know, uh, having a, um, a go at each other or you all are having, um, you know, you're not getting along at well at all, um, you know, fighting over some kind of situation. So there's people that are disagreeing with whatever you're doing. And it may be because you're starting a new relationship or it might be about an old relationship. Um, now, it seems like uh, what's going on with, um, with you, there's the King of Pentacles over here, and it's crossed by the Six of Swords. So you might have been involved in a relationship with uh, um, an Earth sign person. Uh, this could be um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And it seems like, um, you know, that relationship has come to an end, and you have walked away from this person. Uh, they either told you to leave, or you have uh, deliberately left. Uh, that particular situation. Now, this person might have been, you know, very well off. Uh, you can see this man sitting on, on uh, um, a lot of money there. Uh, and um, it seems like, you know, um, maybe they, um, the relationship wasn't working out. So, um, you know, you may have been a bit codependent on this person, uh, maybe for financially, uh, and it wasn't working out. And maybe they banished you from their house or they've sent you off. Um, and maybe you've left, or maybe you've left uh, voluntarily because uh, you were not getting along with this person. So uh, you've got the Eight of Swords over here. This uh, particular person seems to have made you feel very small, very disempowered. You've got this child. Uh, maybe they controlled you. They were very manipulative. You felt very trapped within that relationship, very bullied. Uh, it didn't seem as though you had a voice in that relationship. It seems like, uh, you know, they controlled everything and, uh, you know, um, made you feel very vulnerable as well. Um, you've got the judgment card of here, so you have made a decision in this last few months uh, about moving on. Uh, so it seems like, you know, you've ch decided to go down a different path, a different route, and go and try something new, or move on out of this relationship because it wasn't serving you. And you have decided to end that relationship. So if it was a marriage, uh, it has come to an end. If it was a committed relationship, it seems to have come to an end. There may have been children as well involved within this relationship. Because you can see this woman's leaving with a child over here. This is a picture of a child. And you've got children here. So maybe you were codependent in this relationship because uh, you had dependence. Or you have children. And this is the reason why you stayed within that relationship. But it seems like it has come to an end now. And you have decided to move on. Uh, now you've got, um, this is the two of uh, pentacles over here. Uh, this is about, you know, reestablishing what your worth is, uh, your value again. Um, 
assessing yourself and and you know coming up that you know you are worth it you are not uh, somebody who has no power but this is also uh, you know having been financially dependent on this person maybe you were financially dependent on this person you're now having to juggle money uh, maybe this uh, has left you uh, you know needing to pay bills and uh, you know without any kind of financial support so you are trying to hang on to as much of your coins as possible uh, um, because you are ha going through a financial problems at the moment because you know that support has been taken away so what's happening with you you are recovering from this is the four of swords recovering from that difficult situation the card preceding this is the three of swords so that's a heartbreak situation and the four of swords is taking some time off maybe you cut this person completely out of your life in order for you to heal uh, from whatever trauma they have uh, inflicted upon you um, you know you may be getting some kind of support as well uh, you know, it may be also that you have, uh, you know, become ill because of stress-related illnesses. The Four of Swords is recovering from an illness or, you know, taking some time off to recover from that stress uh, uh, illness um, and, uh, you know, maybe seeking some kind of medical attention as well. Uh, so that could well be the case. Um, around you, there was that heartbreak. So you had to sacrifice something very precious uh, with this three of swords and you know your heart is really broken uh, from having to give up this relationship you are very very upset uh, from what happened uh, it doesn't seem like you you know you can it doesn't seem like that you can recover those losses it was something very precious that you lost and you are crying quite a bit you've got this queen of swords you are feeling as though you know you have to settle uh, for whatever happened and that you you know you feel as though you don't you are powerless still uh, but this is just an illusion this is in your hopes and fears you fear that you are powerless but she is the queen of rods and she has got a lot of power in her hand you can see she's carrying that uh, rod and it's got a light at the end of it so you have become very enlightened and that in itself gives you the power because knowledge is power and you are crying she's crying a lot about it uh, not wanting to look into the future not wanting to address the future just yet she's keeping her eyes closed um, and you know you haven't made future plans just yet maybe you're just getting over whatever's happening you are trying to recover from that relationship it seems to have had quite a traumatic effect on you Now you are going to be able to walk away from this so that cycle uh, you know even though it you were dependent on this person they were very burdensome on you they may have taken a lot out of you you've got the ten of rods over here and walking away from all that drama so they may have caused a lot of problems there was a lot of arguments there was a lot of battles but you are now walking away and even though you're walking away alone you're walking away with your head held high and you know your power back in your hand he's got the rod back in his hand again so that is the sign of power. And there are people around you to support you, to help you. This could be in the form of family. Uh, this could be in the form of, you know, siblings, uh, friends. But there are people that are offering you that support, that comfort that you need uh, to overcome any kind of problems that you're going through. And you've got the page of rods coming in over here. So, you know, you might travel. Uh, you might start something brand new. You are He's holding on to this rod very firmly. So you have your uh, self-confidence and your power right back in your hands again. And, you know, this is starting off some brand new project using your talents and skills that you have uh, to start afresh. Uh, and you will be able to. This is the Ace of Rods, so this is a new idea, a new, a brand new cycle beginning for you. And the Page of Rods is able to use uh, those new ideas, implement them, and start something afresh. So you will start afresh, and you will be successful in it, whatever you start. So even though you may have been financially... Uh, dependent on this person uh, you will recover from any kind of loss uh, make sure that you are looking after your health if you do need medical assist help uh, or even advice or uh, you know please make sure that you do seek it uh, don't neglect yourself for any reason but it looks like there's the end of cycles over here and you are going to bring uh, you know uh, be starting something brand new now it looks like there's some uh, a lot of legalities that you are dealing with as well so this could well be a divorce you've got the page of michael news coming in about this uh, so an exciting new challenge you have what it takes to succeed review contracts or documents very thoroughly so some kind of um, 
legal paperwork coming in or legal message coming in uh, with regards to whatever this case was. And then you've got the five of Michael over here, which says, this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome and consider taking a more up uplifting approach. So this is actually walking away from things that are not working out for you. And if this situation is not working out for you, it is time to sever that relationship. Um, and, uh, you know, um, f don't worry about what's going to happen. It will all work out. Uh, you know, don't look at the worst case scenario. Know that you have left um, a, a situation that is not serving you and uh, only good can come after that. Then you've got the Knight of Ariel, which says there's much more to accomplish. Uh, make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. So you are getting help and assistance or you will get help and assistance, but also make sure that you're making plans. So don't close your eyes to the future. This Queen of Rods has got her eyes closed. Make sure that you are looking at the future with your eyes wide open uh, so that you don't make the same mistake again or you don't go through the same problems again. Uh, make sure that you see all the pitfalls. Uh, you know, don't bury your head in the sand. Uh, be very realistic about how you make your plans as well. So uh, a difficult cycle coming to an end, having left a difficult situation, but you are now getting back that confidence and that power and you will be able to move away from all the drama. It is now the end of that cycle and you will move away to something better. There is support around you. You've got this Three of Cups. You can see these three women are there to give you that help and assistance, offering you that cup of, of help and assistance, and you will be able to get through the situation. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.